Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? That is why I invented the five minute meeting. Jim Falkenstein here with the uh, five minute city council meeting for Ashland on September 5th. Now remember, September 5th, a very smoky day. It's been smoky a long time. So uh, the fire guy uh, from Ashland, Ashland fire guy, uh, Chris said, uh, uh, there's a new website on the uh, website and it's got more smoke information and mask information and links to other websites. It's so it's saving the day. So it's not, not smoky. That's what we're doing. And he's very, I, I don't know, maybe that's great. Then the lady from uh, the county 911 dispatch uh, gave her a summary because we pay for her and all those people and she says there's a lot more cops called than firemen called I'll tell you that and uh, they're adding texting to 911 next year and then uh, uh, every year all the, car the calls are getting more serious the more dangerous uh, crimey stuff and uh, they have to answer burglar alarms and so uh, if you can't find your remote don't call 911 uh, give them a break they got a lot going on there so but uh, everything's going great there uh, I guess then uh, the Parks and Rec guys showed up because apparently uh, a couple months ago they tried to uh, move the senior center from the senior center area to the uh, Grove and uh, old people went berserk because uh, nobody really filled them in or didn't fill them in loudly enough they didn't know and so uh, the park guys came to the city to uh, kind of uh, park explain their situation and the fact that they're now doing a three-month committee to uh, ad hoc look at everything and and uh, so yeah we get the picture and we're gonna look at how the program is set up not just the center and then uh, there's a public comment on that and uh, guess what uh, one lady set up and said that's BS and I don't trust this guy and then another lady stood up and said uh, the Parks Department is doing a terrible job and then uh, another lady stood up and said they already fired our two favorite people at the center. What's up with that? And uh, the park guy said, oh, we're really doing a pretty good job. We're doing a pretty good job. And then this guy said, uh, this guy goes, he goes, he goes, hey, uh, he said, hey, hey, you guys can put signs up at the senior center. They read them and then know what's going on. <laughs> then they're all like, oh, well, I could have done that. And then this guy, uh, here he goes. Uh, this guy says, oh, by the way, uh, we're not the boss of Parks and Rec. They can kind of do what they want. So they're just telling us stuff and uh, there's nothing we can do about it. And uh, by the way, I've been uh, on the council for nine years. He loves saying that. Ah, nine years. So bingo. Uh, that was it. Nothing can be done. So there you are. All right. Then public forum. Uh, only one person, crazy lady, uh, got, you know, she said that some crazy pr homeowner on uh, Grandview is trying to shut down parking access to a ditch trail and uh, I'm going to sue. So that's going to happen, I guess. All right, then that's it. Consent agenda where they put a bunch of stuff and then they vote on uh, whether the alcohol goes through and uh, everything seemed to be going smoothly. And then this guy goes, hey, wait, stock a, by the way, that bouncy ball was the winning sculpture that goes next to the Starbucks going up to the uh, Shakespeare Festival. And he said, ah, thanks. That's a good thing to do. And then this guy, this guy said, uh, I've been on the council nine years. I think that's all he said. And then this guy said, uh, oh, and then she said, ah, oh, the bouncy ball was my favorite. And so uh, rest of the consent agenda approved. What was on there? Who knows? It's all approved. Okay, next, the North Main Road diet. Somebody came in with all the stats and numbers and said, you know how they turned it into three lines instead of four? Well, uh, guess what happened? Uh, it's almost exactly the same as it was. Everything's about as fast. No, uh, the crashes are about the same. So uh, should we change it back? No, let's kind of keep it and move some sidewalks around. They're like going, ah, that's the best. Okay, they did that. Then one guy on Gresham has been, has been hosed by these neighbors and the city for 12 years trying to figure out how to put a parking spot on his property or something. And and uh, uh, he said, uh, so they figured out, he gets his own parking spot right in front with a little sign. And uh, everyone's like, yeah, you were hosed a lot by the city. But then a couple people said, uh, I know she said it for sure. She was like, Ugh, giving one guy his own spot's gonna cost trouble. And they said, yeah, I know, but we really did kind of hose this guy. So bingo, he gets his own spot. Bingo. And then the guy, uh, the public works guy, who was just kind of helping with his parking spot thing says, I'm retiring bitches. And he dropped the mic, like uh, proverbially. Then the climate energy action plan uh, that they've been working on forever uh, is, an, is a new law so that uh, the city has to, to take into account all the climate change that happens with every department and uh, let's see one high school kid two high school kids three four five six seven eight nine high school kids one mother of a high school kid a seep committee guy uh, and uh, a business guy they all said 
well, we hate climate change, so vote for this law. And so they all did, but first they all said, she said, uh, she goes, all right, I want to change two words in the law. And then uh, this guy says, uh, he goes, students are the best. And then uh, who else was there? This guy, he said, uh, the public process is awesome. And then this guy said, uh, he said, ah, you kids are all gonna quit after this. Once you get this, don't quit, don't quit. Nine years, I think he said nine years. I think he said nine years again. And then this one said, uh, I'm all in for this. And then this guy said, remember there's a lot more to do than just this seat thing. And then of course, they all voted unanimous, but uh, this guy of course had to jump in and go, I'm, all, I'm on board too, by the way, remember I'm cool. And then bingo, end of meeting, five minutes, you're welcome.